The universe has a talent for creating extreme, and occasionally strange, items. We become more and more aware of how reassuringly commonplace our little sector of space actually is as we discover more about the cosmos. We got lucky. The location of Earth is largely tranquil and comfortable. However, a large portion of the cosmos is made up of stars, planets, and galaxies with incredibly odd, and frequently violent, characteristics. These are some of the most extraordinary cosmic objects known, even if they might not hold the record for long. Examples include stars that burn so hot they make the sun appear almost cool in comparison, planets with the density of cotton candy, and galaxies so old they existed when the universe was still in its infancy. Space's hottest object, Quasar 3C273. Some of the brightest things in the cosmos, called quasars, are found at the heart of many young galaxies. The supermassive black hole of a galaxy, notably its accretion disk, is the source of energy for these incredibly bright objects. Friction between the gas and dust causes this disk of materials to spin around the black hole, producing a lot of heat and light. Because they emit so much energy, quasars frequently glow 100 times brighter than all the stars put together in their galaxy. Quasar 3C273, which is around 2.5 billion light years from Earth, was the first quasar to be detected, is still one of the brightest and hottest quasars ever discovered. According to astronomers, the quasar's core might reach temperatures of more than 18 trillion degrees Fahrenheit. These temperatures, which are hundreds of thousands of times hotter than the sun, are so severe that they cast doubt on our knowledge of how hot cosmic objects may get from a theoretical standpoint. According to earlier predictions, electrons should begin to rapidly cool at temperatures of a few trillion degrees by converting their energy into photons. This scorchingly hot quasar seems to indicate that this mechanism isn't always in operation, albeit the specific reason why is still unknown. PSR J1748244 AD, the fastest revolving star. This dead star is roughly 18,000 light years away from Earth. The neutron star's surface spins at about 157 million miles per hour at its equator which is near 24% the speed of light. This star, like other neutron stars, was created when a huge star ran out of nuclear fuel and was no longer able to resist gravitational collapse. The huge star's core, which was once about the size of the sun, eventually becomes an object about the size of a city when it dies. As a result, some neutron stars, like PSR J1748244 AD, spin at extraordinary speeds and produce a neutron-rich form of matter so dense that a tablespoon of it would weigh 1 billion tons. The Kepler-51 superpuffs are the lightest planets. Superpuffs are planets that have masses that are close to or somewhat higher than that of Earth, but have extraordinarily low densities because their atmospheres bubble out, giving them diameters akin to gas giants like Jupiter. The least dense planets we have yet to find are the superpuffs Kepler-51b, Kepler-51c, and Kepler-51d, which are comparable to cotton candy balls the size of Jupiter. The fact that this trio orbits the same star, Kepler-51, makes them more unusual. The Kepler-51 system is the only system that hosts more than one so-called superpuff exoplanet. Less than roughly 20 superpuffs are known in the universe as a whole, therefore discovering a system containing three of them is very unusual. The Boomerang Nebula is the coldest part in space. The cosmic microwave background radiation, which almost completely fills the cosmos, is a fossil relic from an event that happened soon after the Big Bang. The radiation is so widespread that space seldom experiences temperature decreases below minus 455 Fahrenheit. Rarely, though not always. The Boomerang Nebula is a young planetary nebula that is around 5,000 light years from Earth. Astronomers discovered in 1995 that this area of space has a temperature of just 1 K, 
or roughly minus 457 Fahrenheit. The hypothetically coldest temperature at which all atomic and molecular activity would cease is absolute zero, or zero K. At the center of the boomerang nebula is a dying star that is spewing gas into space. The star has been shedding one solar mass annually for the past 1,500 years. The record-breaking frigid temperatures of the nebula are thought to be a result of winds that can reach speeds of up to 310,000 miles per hour, which are forcing this gas away. Glass Z13 is a candidate for most distant galaxy ever seen. We are seeing light from this galaxy, as it was 13.4 billion years ago since it took that long for the light to travel to us. It is therefore the oldest item we have ever seen. We are discovering brand new, really bizarre objects that even a few decades ago, we would have had no idea existed. This pattern will only persist as our methods and technology advance. 